mountains right there at the top of this hill. It's just an amazing experience that uh, we need to do again with Safari one, one day soon. But meanwhile, we'll have right now um, a video. I know we'll have the words from His Holiness uh, Bhaktivinasa, Bhaktivinasa Narasimha Maharaj, who's, who's also accompanied us on many safaris. He is an ISKCON guru and a sannyasi preaching in many places like Thailand and China. He actually speaks Chinese. I was very impressed to see how Maharaj is actually preaching in Chinese. And today he's going to tell us a little bit more about this beautiful holy place of Ahovalan. Hare Krishna Maharaj, welcome. Hare Krishna Maharaj, thank you very much. So Maharaj, we're going to show the video first and then Manohar Siam, the video is ready. Yes. Over 300 temples in India house different forms of Lord Nashimha Dev. And the most famous of them all is in Ahobalam, a remote place in the hills of Andhra Pradesh, South India, said to be the very spot where Nashimha Dev killed Hiranyakashifu. Ahobalam Dham was widely introduced to Iskon by Indra Jumna Swami, whose dramatic account of his visit there in 1979 inspired several young men to undertake a spiritual adventure and see Vaishnav culture in its authentic raw element. The Ahobala Nashimha Swami temple is situated in Upper Ahobala. It is the main temple and the earliest of the nine temples. Here the Lord is manifest in his fierce aspect called Ugra Nashimha. The deity here is Swayambhu or self manifest. This temple is at a distance of eight kilometers from Lower Avalobilum. Lord Nashimha is worshipped in nine forms in Avalobilum and they are Jalva Nashimha, Ahobala Nashimha, Mahalola Nashimha, Krola Nashimha, Karanja Nashimha. Bhagava Nishimha, Yogananda Nishimha, Chattravata Nishimha, Bhavana Nishimha. It is said, those who visit all nine temples on the same day get a special blessing. In the Chaitanya Charamrita Madhya Leela 8.6, it is said, although very ferocious, the lioness is very kind to her cubs. Similarly, although very ferocious to non-devotees like Hiranyakashipu, Lord Nashimhadev is very, very soft and kind to the devotees like Ralad Maharaj. Hare Krishna. Hare Krishna Mara, thank you. <laughs> okay, I've Panchakalpa Tarubyasya Kripa Sindhu Bhaiva Chapati Tanam Pavani Bio Vaishna Vibyon Maha. Very wonderful to have the opportunity to visit Ahova Nashringa. Described as we heard, Lord Chaitanya personally went there when he was touring South India. So we're following in the footsteps of Lord Chaitanya Mahaprabhu by visiting this holy place. In Lagu Bhagavatamrita mentions there how three deities are particularly important over all deities. There's so many different forms of the Lord 
Lord Krishna has many different forms, different incarnations, but there are three forms which are given superiority over all the other forms. Lord Krishna himself, Lord Rama, and Lord Narsimhadev. Lord Narsimhadev also. Krishna, Rama, and Narsimha. They're all, the, these three forms are particularly important because they can display all the six qualities of Bhagavan. Wealth, beauty, fame, knowledge, strength, and renunciation. That these uh, six aspects of the Bhagavan feature are all found only fully in the form of Lord Krishna, and Lord Rama, and Lord Narsimhadev. So the worship of Lord Narsimhadev is very, very important, very dear to us. Srila Prabhupada introduced the worship of Lord Narsimhadev to us as devotees when he was in poor health, that we wanted to know how we should pray and what we could do. So Prabhupada taught us the Narsimha Stotra at that time and told us about placing Lord Narsimhadev's picture on the altar. And he said this would be good to protect our movement and also to protect the spiritual teachers, particularly Srila Prabhupada himself at that time. We were concerned for Prabhupada's health. So Prabhupada taught us to worship Lord Narsimhadev. We hear in Srimad Bhagavatam how Lord Narsimhadev wants to give benediction to Prahlad Maharaj after Prahlad had come and pacified Lord Narsimhadev with his nice prayers. Lord Narsimhadev felt so sorry that Prahlad had been put through so much by his demoniac father that he requested Prahlad Maharaj ask for some benediction. But Prahlad declined. He told Lord Narsimhadev that I'm not, a, I'm not a businessman. Я не бизнесмен. I I just simply want devotion. And he prayed to Lord Narsimhadev and said, if you want to give me any benediction at all, then bless me that in my heart there will be no desire for sense gratification. So this is the particular significance of the worship of Lord Narsimhadev. We could say, why don't we just worship Lord Krishna? What's the spe special significance of Lord Narsimhadev? But Lord Narsimhadev is particularly important because he destroys the demonic mentality which is there, which is in all of us. We're all trying to be devotees. And in order to become good devotees, we have to get rid of that demoniac tendency in the heart. And by the mercy of Lord Narsimhadev, we can do it. Because Lord Narsimhadev is Vigna Vinash Narasimha. Vigna means obstacles, and Vinash means to destroy the obstacles. So this is how we refer to Lord Narsimhadev. Vigna Vinash Narasimha, that he can destroy all of the obstacles on the path of our devotion. Often people are fond of worshiping Ganapati or Lord Ganesh, and they think that Lord Ganesh will destroy the obstacles. But that power to destroy the obstacles on the path of devotion, that power is given to Lord Ganesh by Lord Nishingadev. So devotees in our line, we do not have to worship Lord Ganesh, we simply worship Lord Nishingadev. And Lord Nishingadev personally removes all the obstacles on the path of devotion. Lord Narsimhadev destroys that demoniac tendency which is there in the heart and makes it possible for us to develop our love for the Lord. 
So worship of Lord Nishain, very important. So many great acharyas, they were very devoted to Lord Nishingadev, particularly Sridhar Swami, the original commentator on Srimad Bhagavatam. He was a great devotee of Lord Nishingadev, and he has composed many prayers glorifying Lord Nishingadev. So we're following in the footsteps Great devotees, of course, of all the devotees, Prahlad Maharaj, he's the, the, the number one devotee, the greatest Prima Bhakta who worships Lord Nishringade. And he's taught us how to pray, that please bless us, that we don't desire liberation, we don't want to go away to the mountains and be alone in solitude, but we should feel compassion like Prahlad. We want to deliver the conditioned souls, go where the people are and deliver them. We should feel compassion on them. This is the mood of Prahlad. And Prahlad Maharaj also prays to Lord Nishingadev. But just please bless me that in my heart, there will be no desire for sense gratification. So in this mood, we are offering our prayers to Lord Nishingadev. Hare Krishna.